From Kursk in Russia, to El Alamein in Egypt, via the Ardennes, we thought the great tank battles were consigned to the history books. But now, with the Russian-Ukrainian war, tanks are back in the limelight, even if their deployment is not on the scale of the Second World War, and other equipment like artillery, missiles, drones play a crucial role. Since 2022, in this new military context, competition has been developing between German, American and South Korean manufacturers to equip the armies of the old continent, at a time when Russian industry is gaining power. For the Russians, which really only operate Soviet-style tanks, the cage armor add-ons can take away one of the advantages of this design by eliminating its low profile and making it easier to detect and engage. The unusually towering, bulky cage designs the Russians have employed are especially problematic in this regard. Russian tanks are smaller by design, with an emphasis on massed armor and mobility. Their design also gives them a lower profile than bulky Western tanks like the American Abrams or the British Challenger tanks, where the emphasis is on heavy armor and combat power. Ukraine is now fighting against Russia with more Western tanks. At such a time the Croatian Defense Ministry estimated the batch of M-84 tanks and M-80 infantry fighting vehicles that Ukraine will receive at almost 145 million euros. The country's defense ministry said that this book value includes the corresponding spare parts and ammunition. Croatia will transfer 30 M-84 tanks, as well as 30 M-80 infantry fighting vehicles. The total book value is 144.8 million euros, said Croatian Defense Minister Ivan Anuzic. The M-84 tanks will be transferred to Ukraine for the first time. These vehicles are a localized version of the Soviet export T-72M1 tanks, produced under license in Yugoslavia. After the country's collapse, the newly formed Croatia inherited a fleet of 84 tanks. By 2008, all of them had been upgraded to the M-84A4 Snatchper level, and by 2023, most had undergone major repairs and updated communication systems. Compared to the original T-72M, the Croatian M-84A4 has greater firepower due to the modern DBR-84 ballistic computer, working in combination with the SCS-84 all-weather day-slash-night infrared gunner sight. The vehicle's mobile component was also improved, the tank received a new 1000 horsepower V46 TK diesel engine, as well as improved turret rotation and gun elevation drives. At the same time, the level of protection has not changed, during the modernization, the equipment did not receive any packages of add-on armor or dynamic protection. The armor corresponds to the level of the T-72M1-T-72A. In exchange for the aid given to Ukraine, the Croatian Ministry of Defense will receive funding from Germany for the purchase of modern German Leopard 2A8 tanks. President Joe Biden has authorized Ukraine to use U.S.-supplied missiles to strike deeper inside Russia, easing limitations on the longer-range weapons as Russia deploys thousands of North Korean troops to reinforce its war, according to a U.S. official and three other people familiar with the matter. The decision allowing Kiev to use the Army Tactical Missile System, or ATACMS, for attacks farther inside Russia comes as President Vladimir Putin positions North Korean troops along Ukraine's northern border to try to reclaim hundreds of miles of territory seized by Ukrainian forces. Biden's move also follows the presidential election victory of Donald Trump, who has said he would bring about a swift end to the war and raised uncertainty about whether his administration would continue the United States' vital military support for Ukraine. The official and the others knowledgeable about the matter were not authorized to discuss the U.S. decision publicly and spoke on condition of anonymity. Zelensky and many of his Western supporters have been pressing Biden for months to allow Ukraine to strike military targets deeper inside Russia with Western-supplied missiles, saying the U.S. ban had made it impossible for Ukraine to try to stop Russian attacks on its cities and electrical grids. His statement came shortly after he posted a message of condolence on Telegram following a Russian attack on a nine-story building that killed at least eight people in the northern city of Sumy, 40 kilometers from the border with Russia. Russia also launched a massive drone and missile attack, 
described by officials as the largest in recent months, targeting energy infrastructure and killing civilians. The attack came as fears are mounting about Moscow's intentions to devastate Ukraine's power generation capacity before the winter. U.S. approval of Ukraine's use of U.S. long-range weapons has no impact on Germany's refusal to deliver Taurus cruise missiles, a government spokesman said on Monday. But Chancellor Olaf Scholz has ruled out providing Taurus long-range cruise missiles, which have a range of up to 500 kilometers and could in theory be used against targets far into Russian territory. The decision allowing Kiev to use the Army Tactical Missile System, or ATACMS, for attacks farther inside Russia comes as President Vladimir Putin positions North Korean troops along Ukraine's northern border to try to reclaim hundreds of miles of territory seized by Ukrainian forces. President Joe Biden's move also follows the presidential election victory of Donald Trump, who has said he would bring about a swift end to the war and raised uncertainty about whether his administration would continue the United States' vital military support for Ukraine. Der Bundeskanzler war davon, darüber informiert, dass das Jahr von Präsident Biden zur Lieferung der Attackhams ist, wie Sie wahrscheinlich nachvollziehen können, auch sehr eng konditioniert, um beispielsweise die Ukraine gerade auch in der Grenzregion Kursk zu unterstützen. Und nein, es hat keine Auswirkungen auf die Entscheidung des Bundeskanzlers. Taurus nicht zu liefern.